Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. In tonight's video, we are going to be talking about how to get better at this game, the play styles that work best in this game, and just overall how to improve, get more wins, get more kills, and perform better on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This game, of course, is pretty much brand new, came out last night, and I want to make this video and talk about all this stuff because I see a lot of people that are really enjoying this game and some other people that are struggling with this game as well. And this game is a little bit different, actually a lot different from previous Call of Duty games that we had. You know, pr traditionally it's been just 6v6 and 9v9. Now in this game you got 6v6, you got 10v10, you got 32v32 on just some crazy maps, you got tanks, you got people flying around in helicopters on 30 story buildings, and then you still have your traditional sort of uh, domination matches and TDMs and free for all as well. So there's a lot to learn and a lot to know about this game. I'm going to talk about some different things that I've learned and some things that I th uh, think will help you guys out uh, improve on this game during the first week or a couple of weeks or whatever. Drop a like on this thing if you could Let's go ahead and go for 805 likes. You guys have been crushing the likes on everything. I'm really, really appreciative of that. So go ahead and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and not already subscribed. Of course, more Modern Warfare videos coming out uh, pretty much every single day here on the channel. So let's get right into it and talk about it. Now, first of all, we need to understand, to, to be good at a game and understand what you need to do to be good and get better at a game, you have to understand the game. This is a game that has a very, very fast time to kill. Honestly, probably the fastest time to kill in Call of Duty, uh, comparable to Call of Duty Ghosts. And what that means is basically any mistake you make walking out in the open or allowing the enemy to get a gunfight off on you or get that first bullet into you can be deadly. You die very, very quick. It's not like a game like Black Ops 4 where if you're a good player, you can afford to peek people, duck back around the corner, pop a stim shot. You had 150 health. Black Ops 4 is actually a game that had one of the slower time to kills in Call of Duty. And we're going from that to pretty much the fastest. It is a very, very tough adjustment. And the main part about that is is not only the time to kill being uh, very, very quick that can punish you, it's also the map design. These maps are made where there is a bunch of different corridors, a bunch of different ways into each building, and a bunch of different um, windows and different uh, basically alleyways, uh, sight lines that you can get picked off of. These maps are designed sort of to be, I guess you could say, very, very fair. They're designed to have to make everyone have a 1KD, everyone sort of have a fair chance, which it, it, I don't know if that's the best for competitive play. I'm not sure. I think some of the competitive players are complaining about the maps and also casual players as well, but the map design has definitely drastically different for this year, and that also affects the way you play. Next thing is the kill streaks. The kill streaks this year are deadly. They are, if you want to go for kills, it's all about the streaks. And you'll see it happen here in this game. I mean, you pretty much, it's about air support. It's really just about air support in this game. And the thing about the streaks that sucks is you can't cycle through the streaks. What's that? What that means is as soon as you get that maximum level streak, you have the decision to make. Either kill yourself or run in and let an enemy kill you so you're able to re reset your streak and start earning the streaks again. This reminds me of the Mark J strategy from Black Ops 1, I call it. Because whenever I'd watch Mark J in Black Ops 1, he would get the chopper gunner the, uh, and the dogs, the Cujos, he'd walk out in the middle of the open and call in the chopper gunner. And people didn't really understood why he understand why he did that, but the reason why is he wanted to die. He wanted the enemies to kill him so he could start his streak up again. Now, that hasn't existed since Black Ops 1, but for whatever reason, I guess to nerf good players, they put that back into this game. So once you max out your streak, you have a decision to make. Either you stay alive and you go for the tactical nuke which is getting a lot of gun kills or you let yourself die or just I wouldn't just you know suicide I'd rather just run in there try to get as much kills go rush happy and then you reset your streaks but when it comes down to the kill streaks these are what is going to get you the majority of your kills in this game as of right now with the way these maps are designed they aren't really it's not traditionally made for rushing especially with the time to kill and the amount of different angles running out through the open can be very difficult in this game and while there are some things that do help rushing and there are certain maps that feed really well into rushing with SMGs. The majority of this game fits around maps and play styles where the kill streaks, if you want to get any sort of high KD or a good gameplay, it really is going to be majority kill streak kills. And speaking of kill streaks, I think the play style, because of the kill streaks being so effective and because your other option is, is basically you don't really have a non-lethal option in this game because you can't cycle through UAVs. I guess you could run hardline, just personal radar and UAV, but I mean, what's your goal there? You can only get one per life. It, 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 there's no real point, right? There's no real point to non-lethals in this game to go for a nuke because you only get one set of them. So basically the way to go, and you see most people going with, is air support in this game. And speaking of air support, what do I like to run? What gets the most kills? Now there's four kill streaks that I've been messing with the most in this game. And this is a game just like most other Call of Duty games where if you want to get better at the game, you want to uh, get high kills, get wins even because of the map control, the air support big kill streaks or the higher kill streaks up are sort of 
of hard to get and I think that you know you have to set yourself set your own goals if you're someone that can't really get a 10 kill streak maybe you want to use more of the cruise missile or uh, different airstrikes a UAV something around the, around those area where those kill streaks if you earn them five times in a game they might get you you know 10 20 extra kills and could really help improve your KD and stuff but if you can earn the big kill streaks or at least you believe you can earn them or have a chance of earning them every single game that is the way to do it for example on this kill streak I think I came out with like 30 kills or something 33 kills on the first streak and that's of course not just with the gun but the you know probably half the kills with the gun and half the kills with that amazing amazing air support so what do I like as far as streaks if you're a good player or even if you're not a good player and you just want to sort of camp for these streaks that's how you can really get a high KD as well uh, VTOL jet is at eight kills which is basically a Harrier strike I find this one is very effective because I'm someone that likes weapons where or likes kill streaks especially in a game like this where you want to earn the top one and then start earning immediately if you die and start earning again or you want to just keep running around and going for gun kills for that nuke those are basically your two options um vtol jet is amazing it's like a harrier strike from mw2 you call it in on a location that is eight kills uh the chopper gunner i i am liking as well which is 10 kills but i've sort of decided that i mean the chopper gunner is amazing you can drive it around and get some nice kills on it but the gunship ac-130 which is available at 12 kills is really really deadly as well and then you have the support helo at 11 so honestly if you want to go for the biggest biggest kill game probably you'd want to rock with a 10 11 12 kill streak setup chopper gunner support helo and then gunship uh the gunship is similar to the ac-130 so you know switching out on those missiles reminds me way back of those good old mw2 days you know you get the harrier strike and then i guess this game is modern warfare but these kill streaks are very dominant especially in a mode like that first game that you saw was a 10v10 where i got my streaks this game here is a 32v32 or, or whatever it is in ground war where i get the streaks as well and of course they're going to go ham in a, in a game mode like that where you might have 10 people in a if you're playing 6v6 and half of them are in, are in uh, inside your streaks aren't going to do too much if you're playing 10v10 or 32v32 I highly recommend running these this air support and allowing those to do absolutely huge work for you now what helps you to get these streaks if getting kill streaks is the way to uh, improve your score lines win more games and stuff like that which is pretty this isn't a foreign concept it's pretty traditional and known in Call of Duty what is the best way to get those kill streaks and you might think off the start oh hardline right hardline only allows you to get one less kill for your streak. It's pretty self-explanatory in this game. they are kill streaks instead of score streaks, although there is one uh, perk which can turn them into uh, score streaks, which honestly I haven't experimented with that too much. Um, the other option is if you give up all your kill streaks, you can run the specialist bonus, which was probably my favorite thing in Modern Warfare 3 and in Call of Duty Ghosts. I think that's unlocked at level 29. I'm like level, what, what am I, like 35 or something now, so I haven't tested it out yet, but I probably should because I have it. But in my opinion, it seems like the perks in this game it's a different level when you got every perk in cod ghost or modern warfare 3 it just seemed like that was a little bit stronger than maybe this game just off my first initial reaction but of course i need to test it out to see more but yeah definitely hardline so my opinion on hardline is hardline is great if you're running low streaks because it it, it counts it's it's a lot easier when your personal uav or your uav or your, your those zero to five kill streaks are lower and easier to get that makes a big difference but if my 10 11 12 become 9 10 11 that doesn't really make too big of a difference, especially considering this is a game where claymores are super duper strong, and in that same second perk slot, you have the option to run something like Ghost, which can be helpful to keep you off of the UAVs, although Ghost is sort of a double-edged sword because the, the footsteps are so loud in this game that this is another big key. If you have any sort of headset, anything, I use Astros, but even if you have iPod headphones, even if you just crank up the stereo, you can hear people's footsteps, and on the other hand of that, it kind of hurts because everyone can hear your footsteps steps so when approaching areas that you think people are going to be i recommend aiming down sight walking or just crouch walking that's usually the way to do it i also rock with dead silence as my field order which definitely helps to combat that makes them hear me a little bit less and allows me to hear them less so i can hear or me to hear myself le less so i can hear other enemies that is definitely a big thing but yeah on my opinion back onto the perks i know there's a lot of stuff to talk about obviously this game just came out i'm pretty uh, i'm pretty talkative because there's a lot of stuff to cover i'm gonna have way more tip videos you know throughout the year and all that so more stuff to cover uh, so don't worry if I don't get everything covered in this video. But yes, hardline, nicer for the lower streaks. But with restocking, just restocking those grenades, or not grenades, but claymores, not only do you feel comfort, but even in, a, in anything, you can, you sort of, if you know the maps and you know the choke points, you can lay those down and get a couple kills each streak off of those, which really becomes worth it compared to, you know, if you're going for a 10 or 11 streak where you have to stay alive for a long time, it really does become worth it compared to something like hardline. That's what I rock with as far as that second perk. You also have the 
option for kill chain, which sort of makes your kill streaks become how they are in a Modern Warfare 2, where um, essentially you're, you're, if you use a Predator missile or whatever, that kill will count towards your next streak, which it doesn't happen traditionally. That can be a good second perk as well, uh, especially if you're someone that's trying, it, it, it all depends on your setup. You know, if you're trying to use missiles and airstrikes, maybe to help juice you up to a chopper gunner or gunship, that those can sort of be used as building blocks, especially in a game mode like uh, Ground War, where they're going to do damage if you have big airstrikes. So, uh, but, you know, if you're running three kill streaks that are right together, 10, 11, 12, kill chain really has no use to it, uh, you know, because unless you feel like you're going to choke those kills fairly often. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This game revolves around the kill streaks, around the gunplay, around uh, listening for your enemies, and basically around a lot around claymores and field orders as well. I'm going to have way more tips and tricks videos, probably, you know, some stuff on some aiming tips, some more tips for gunfights and gunplay, because I know this video we covered a lot about uh, tactical stuff and kill streaks, which I th obviously are important. It's Call of Duty. It was built off kill streaks. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Drop a like, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one, and I'm out. Peace.